Hi there, in this presentation, I'm gonna show you how I built an application with no code in less than two hours using a platform called Coda. So this is a good wireframe I came across, uh, which shows you what my initial idea was. I basically wanted to build a quote generator tool with the added option uh, functionality of uh, sharing those quotes on social platforms. And in less time than it takes, I managed to do this in less time than it takes for your average commute. To give you a bit of context, uh, this is me with my wife, or wifey Sita, as I like to call her, as she's Latina, originally from Colombia. Uh, her name's Johanna, and Johanna is absolutely lovely. She, I love her to bits. She, uh, she cooks um, delicious food. Uh, she spoils me like heck. And the, the one, one of the things that Johanna struggles with is she's not a morning person. So it's kind of hard for her to get out of bed. Um, she's not always in the best of moods. And we usually wake up with one of these devices, Alexa, which runs through a morning routine where it tells us the weather, it tells us the traffic. And then I thought it would be a good idea a while back to uh, basically find these Spanish love phrases and get Alexa to say them in the morning. Um, which is kind of funny because uh, she butchers the Spanish. But basically, I would I would Google them, as you can see here. I would find the, the quote, and then I would copy it. It was a little bit cumbersome, and I was like, well, what if I could just generate these, you know, more easily? Find a good list of them, and then pull them out randomly. So yeah, we I would take these quotes, and I'd just paste them into Alexa. It was super fun. Um, and then I came across the Makers Festival, which is basically, which was basically a competition co-organized by Product Hunt and Coda, which encouraged people to basically build applications or platforms using no code. And I thought, why the heck not? Like, let me try this out. In actual fact, I think I had one or two other ideas, but they're a little bit too complex. This one was like, you know, simple, self-contained, a good one to start off with. So. So yeah, I kind of got, went through all these lists of quotes. I copied them, I, I scraped them, I put them in a, in a spreadsheet, and then I started parsing them out. Now you might be wondering, why did I put it in a Google spreadsheet instead of uh, Coda? Well, I knew there was this Google Translate function, um, which I came across on this really great blog written by this Indian dude called Amit. And what this function allows you to do is basically specify which text you want translated, uh, tell, it, tell it what the source language is and the target language. It's great, you can do it with just about any language. So yeah, just took that, auto-filled it down, fantastic. Then I imported that into Coda. So I had a table of all these quotes. And now I needed to basically figure out how I could basically pull out random you know, rows from that table. So I had a look around, and one of the things that's really great about Code as a platform is it has really good like user forums. Um, so a lot of people contributing there, asking questions, providing solutions, and came across this one. Uh, I tried to think one or two others, but this is the one that worked for me. And yeah, I basically just copied this formula, tweaked it slightly, and boom, there we go. I was able to now generate these on the fly. Okay, the next thing I wanted to do is add these, you know, tweet and, and um, yeah, tweet and email buttons. Um, and in order to do that, I went back to the original uh, lists that I came across, and they had these social icons that I noticed. And just had a look at the the links they were linking to, these deep links, um, saw the, the syntax they were using, and then used that syntax in these new, these extra columns that they set up for Twitter, email, WhatsApp, et cetera. And just to show you what one of these formula looks like, uh, it's, yeah, it's a concatenate formula, uh, takes the Twitter text and then replaces the, the message, the spaces within the message with uh, percent 20 signs, uh, which is the way you formulate these URLs. Um, so yeah, using the regex replace uh, function. Yeah, so with those buttons, I was able to pre-populate all these different uh, messages and different social platforms, awesome source. And that's pretty much it. Pretty simple application. Um, uh, additional things I, I, I hope I can add. I couldn't quite figure out a way to just copy the text to clipboard, um, but maybe there is a way out there. I just haven't figured it out. Um, but yeah. Um, one then additional thing I wanted to add is the team from Coda have been really helpful. Uh, they've, I've been bugging them a lot on intercom, um, but they always get back to me. Um, so if you're on the platform, I, I would you know, recommend reaching out to them, a really great team. And that's about it. So if you want to check out the, the application, 
uh, you can go to johnbstrong.com forward slash coda. Uh, apart from that, happy to, yeah, if you have any questions, just, just let me know.